When I see a tag that says 100% wool, I rarely think about what goes into creating the materials used in a suit jacket or a coat. As I learn more about fabrics and the names behind the labels, Bautily stands out amongst the others as one of the oldest wool mills that is still family owned and entirely vertically integrated. Here's how wool goes from sheep to the jacket that you see on runways across the world. It all started in 1861 in the Vittorio Veneto region of Italy, just outside of Venice. Uh, one thing that uh, it's extremely important and uh, made us alive, uh, that we are fully vertical. So uh, we are one of the few wool mills uh, that uh, exist. So everything is made internally. Let's start at step one, the wool. Bottoli specializes in bringing together the finest wool from around the world and combining their unique properties. They are also unique in owning their own 20,000 sheep farm for the finest Italian wool, but the unmatched strength of Australian merino wool can be blended together to make a unique texture depending on the desired look and feel of a garment. In this room, they house decades of raw wool, so they're able to experiment with different types of wool and then scale manufacturing of that once they reach the desired outcome. Considerati dai nostri clienti dei veri portatori e sostenitori del Made in Italy, proprio perché tutte le nostre lavorazioni sono svolte. Next we have step two, blending. So right next door to that room, we have the raw wool that is brought into a machine which was actually designed by Ettore's grandfather, a third generation owner of the Bottoli mill. And it's designed to blend the raw wool together at the earliest part of the process to ensure a deep integration of the unique wool properties. This is also where some of the dyed wools will come back to be blended further, which can result in uniquely colored fibers that can only be accomplished by centuries old techniques utilized in this mill. Then we have the third step, which is dyeing. So this is another aspect of the process that is unique to Bottoli. Some of the wools that were blended will then be dyed to a desired color, but a growing part of Bottoli's line includes special ecological fabrics that is naturally dyed. This is an initiative that Roberto Bottoli started more than a decade ago before it was an important aspect of the wider fashion industry. But as customers and ultimately the fashion companies start to understand the impact that dyes and other processes have on the environment, these ecological fabrics, which use all natural materials, are a very powerful signal that you are able to accomplish beautiful fabrics without harmful chemicals. E quindi con queste fibre naturali abbiamo portato avanti una cultura di naturalità. Negli ultimi anni abbiamo anche sviluppato, qui vi fra tutti in Italia, una linea di tessuti ecologici senza tinture ci permettono di essere veramente ecologisti perché facciamo i tessuti senza l'usilio di coloranti. Once the wools are blended and dyed, they are then dried and moved to the carding and spinning phase. This is where the raw dyed wools are wound into large spools of thread that can be organized and sorted. The spools will then be inserted into these massive machines, which will then take the spools and then based on a pattern developed by Bottoli, will warp the threads in parallel to a beam, which brings the threads together in a much finer technique before moving to the weave process. And this is step six. So weaving takes the warped threads and intricately weaves them together, bringing the wools, the dyed yarns, any speckled flourishes, but all of the patterns all come to life in this stage. And these machines have been operated in the factory for generations, and the expertise to operate them takes decades to master. And these are machines that also have had design aspects done by the Bottoli family. And the final step is finishing. In this room, every square inch that is made in the factory is checked and marked by Bottoli's team of quality assurance specialists that have a special eye for catching any inconsistencies in patterns and fabrics. And because the mill is vertically integrated, if they find a flaw coming up repeatedly in the finished fabrics, they can immediately identify the problem in the chain and fix it very quickly. The fabric is then boxed up and shipped around the world to manufacturers of the finest luxury garments across Europe and Asia. And the next time you see these patterns will be on the runways of major fashion shows around the world. And Bottoli started to use the mill in the late 1800s and has added to the building over the years, but seeing some of the original equipment used in the mills and even patterns that were first created by the first and second generation of Bottoli men is absolutely incredible. So you have it, gents. Hope you learned a lot about the woolen process and a big thank you to the Batoli family for showing us around their factory and showing the true passion that Roberto has as a fourth generation wool maker and a Torre his son has as a fifth generation wool maker. I will hope you check out their stuff and I'm gonna have some really cool things coming up on the channel featuring theirs 
very soon from their new collection. Until next time, gents, we're going to go have some Prosecco.